In this video, we are going to see one problem from uh, isometric projection. The problem is a hexagonal prism of base height 30 mm and axis height uh, 60 mm is resting on a horizontal plane. It has a square hole of side 16 mm at the center. The axis of the square hole and the hexagonal prism coincide. One of the faces of the square hole is parallel to the face of the prism. Draw the isometric projection of the prism with the hole to full scale. The problem is that there is an external prism, that is base side value 30 mm, that is height 60 mm, that is an horizontal plane of the external prism. And the external prism is a square hole, and the square hole is size 16 mm. And the, hole, and the square hole is exact, and the external prism is center. That is the axis of the square hole, and the square hole is the axis, and the external prism is the axis. And one of the faces, and the square hole order over face one the one of the face of the square hole is parallel to the face of the prism square hole order over face one the external prism order face good and other parallel and they are asking draw the isometric projection of the prism so in the diagram but you first we need to draw the uh, top view view of the external prism so top view where I wrong top view around it having freeze the prism having two face Bottom level the PQRS and the top level face on the ABCD and the prism on the side of the 30 mm. Next, the Murtha the Kaprama is the lender in the prism lender in the prism on the center level hole on the make penny and the hole on the Padina is a square hole and the square hole on the size on the 16 mm. And the square hole on the face on the and the hexagonal prism on the face of good and other parallel. So, we will see the square size of the 16 mm. So, mark from the center, this is the center of the external prism. So, this is the top level 8 mm and bottom level top level 8 mm and bottom 8 mm, 16 mm and next. In the center line, the padding, na again here both the sides, left and right sides, eight eight mm. So the hexagonal prism line center line sixteen mm size. I make the square hole. If I na ponan padding, na top view line, na ma drop niya chhi. Front view line, na paakum bode. And the hexagonal prism line, front view line paakum bode. And the hole one the theory other because hole one the exact axis is central lurkanala outer portion of hole theory other friend will a pagam but gender gona ula hole irgo okay so pen up on the non padina inga again the projection at the point inga one the we need to mention by a dotted line already hole lurkanala we make a dotted line in this friend view okay so like we mentioned the square hole in this uh, front view of the hexagonal prism. If we want to this, we will solve this 3D. Already we have solved this problem. Okay. So we have to convert this 3D convert to the prism. Okay. So first we accommodate this box, uh, uh, they accommodate the hexagonal prism into a box and we draw the base portion of the prism and the top face of the prism. And next, uh, we need to uh, mention, we need to show the hole in this uh, 3D view also. So for that, uh, here we give the number. So we, we need to accommodate whatever hole, uh, circle hole or uh, any other hole. In the shape, no, sorry. suppose equally inclined, no, we need to accommodate this into a box. Here already it looks like a box. So give the number. I give it 5, 6, 7 and 8. If you want to do this, file point is going to transfer the point 5 to the point 5. So, file is going to draw a straight line to the line 1 and 4. So, this I consider the point M. If you want to do this, the line is going to go to the line 1 and 2. So, this is going to be N and N. Now, if you want to do this, the line is going to be 1 and 4. So, measure the distance of 1 and M. One and M measure point two on the line in the 3D view on the top of the top face of the object on the line one and four. Here this is one dash, one dash from the line one and four line. I make the 
curve so this point is m like that in this uh, bottom line that means the line 1 and 2 the n is located so measure the distance of uh, n from 1 and n and place the compass in the point 1 on the line 1 and 2 line mark the point n now draw one line which is parallel to the drawn line from M the line which is parallel to the line 1 and 2 so draw one straight line so like from point N from point N draw one line which is parallel to line 1 and 4 now both the lines are intersecting at one point that point is considered as point number 5 now we measure the distance of 5 and 6 in the top view top view and place the compass at point 5 and make an arc here so this is point number 6 and next measure the distance of 5 and 8 all the sides are equal value because it is a square hole so place the compass at point 5 and this is point number 8 now place the compass at 6 and make an arc place the compass at point 8 make an arc so this is point number 7 and this one is point number 8 now we need to connect all the points 7 and 8 and connect 6 and 7 and darken this 5 and 8 and 5 and 6 and also here connect the points 7 and 5 the 7 and 5 and 5 and straight line line connect and connect now it looks like a square hole. If you the prism, you can start the hole. You can start the hole. Throughout the length, the hole is there. But in the front, the hole is invisible. If you have a comic at all, it's not a problem. And finally, in the bottom, we need to write all dimensions are in MM. And we, here, the question is a isometric projection. So we need to draw the isometric scale. And in top of the object diagram, we need to write isometric projection and here top of the object we can write orthographic view